Welcome to our second Codesys training video. In this video I want to talk with you about navigating between visualizations. At one point or another you will surely run out of space in your first visualization. So um, in big projects you of course have several visualizations and you definitely need a way to navigate between them. And I want to show you some ways to do that. The first one is maybe the one that's the easiest to understand, but of course not necessarily the best one and definitely not the most flexible one. But still, um, it's the easiest to set up, so let me show you how to do it. I have created two pages with some non-existent content and I have put one button on each page. The button on page one should lead to page two and vice versa. So what we do is very simple. We select the button and we scroll down the properties and look for the input configuration. And here we will mostly use the on mouse click uh, action, which is the user presses on the button and lets go. And when he lets go, that's the complete mouse completed mouse click and then the uh, action should occur. So we click on configure and here you can add uh, different options. In our case now we will just use the change shown visualization action. And here we can select which visualization um, it should be changed to. So we will use page two of course. And on page two we do the same thing on mouse click change shown visualization only now use page one okay so that's it for our first way to navigate it's a very easy way you put a button you say where you want to go you can you you write it uh, 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 on the button so the user knows it and you're ready okay we can simulate that here in the uh, code as a simulation so we are on page two we click on the page one button and page one is loading and we click and we go back. Very easy. But it's uh, first it's not very flexible and also um, it's difficult to maintain because you always have to go to the visualizations. You have to click on each button and look what does it actually do and um, it can get quite complicated if you if the visualization construct gets a little bit uh, more complicated. So let me show you another way to do it. And this way uses a variable called current visu. The variable name speaks for itself. It contains the currently shown visualization as a string. And it not only shows it as it as in you can read it, but you can also write it. So you can change the currently shown visualization by changing this string variable. To use this variable, you have to integrate the Visu LM base library in your project. So double click on the library manager. You probably don't have this uh, library installed by default. So you have to click on add library and then search for Visu LM base. And it won't go, it won't come as quickly as it did right now because I already integrated it. Um, it might take a couple of seconds on this uh, until this shows. Then you double click. Of course, in my case, it says that it's already inserted. And then you have it in your list here and you can use this, um, this variable. Another thing that you can do is go to the visualization manager. Let's double click it and you need to have this option here activated. Otherwise you will have the variable, uh, you can use the variable in your system, but it won't actually change the visualizations. Basically both of, the, both of these options are a good thing to just uh, activate right at the beginning of a new project um, because it never hurts and if you forget it, um, you may have uh, uh, wasted a couple of minutes to find out why this why it's not working as expected. So make sure that this is checked. 
and now we can prepare our buttons and of course we also need some code um, I have prepared two boolean variables key 1 and key 2 and I've also prepared a little piece of code so if key 1 which stands for if key 1 is true then set key 1 back to false and set the current visu variable this is the way you use it you can see uh, some explanation if you hover the mouse on it set the current visu variable to page 1 as I said it's a string variable so you set it to the name of the visualization that you gave here okay and the same here for key 2 if key 2 then set it set the, the variable back to false and set current visu to page 2 so in our visualization we need to change the action that happens on mouse click click on configure we will remove this and you can either toggle a variable or even write a variable but I will just use the general way because it's uh, more flexible and, and just easier to get around with. We will use execute ST code and then we have to write PLC PRG because the variable is defined there dot and now we select key 2 and set it to true. So we selected key 2 because we want to go to page 2 and on page 2 we do the same remove this execute ST code only now we use key 1 and set it to true so all these two buttons do is now set a boolean variable that we have uh, initialized in the in our program all right that's basically it let's try it out put it on the device it's not too big okay so you can already see current visu has already a value which is page one because the the currently seen page on on the device is actually page one so now I will on the device press the button for page two and now you can't really see it but the, the, the visualization has uh, switched to page 2 and everything is, is much too quick uh, for, for anything to change here but I can also simulate this by setting uh, um, the, the variable to true right here so if I put this to the system check for the current visual it will switch to page 1 so that's another way the advantage is you have uh, um, a generic action on the page which is just setting this variable one of these variables to true and what happen what else happens is all in code so it's easier to read and you can also debug it okay now you may ask okay that's nice but what if i also want to use the soft keys on the device that's a very good question let me command this code because I have prepared some more um, and I also have prepared uh, to use the uh, the keyboard module in our driver tree and I have integrated keys F1 and F2 so the um, the first two keys on the left side so let's scroll, scroll down a little bit put this down here now we have um, a very similar um, code only we have key one or f1 dot f edge stands for falling edge what does that mean um, if key one is set to true or if uh, the, the the button one registers a falling edge which me also means letting go of the key so if you push the soft key you will get a rising edge this one R edge and if you let go again you will get a fallen edge so key one has to be true or the falling edge of button soft key number one then same thing will happen I will set this back 
and I will set the current Visu to page one. And absolutely the same thing for um, key two, which will go to page two. Okay, let's put it on the device and check it out. All right, let's run this. So I'm on page one and now I will press soft key two on the um, on the device and it, it switched to page two. Now I'm pressing soft key one and pressing, nothing happens and I let go and it switches back to page one. So we basically have the same functionality um, but also using the soft keys. Okay, I have a little more so Let's comment this out as well. Like this. And we have our next and last piece of code. Now we want to make it a little more flexible because we still have a dedicated key to go to a certain page um, on page one. And we have a dedicated key to, code to go to page one on page two which is nice, but let's say we have maybe 10 pages and we want to move back and forth between them. Um, it would get crowded quite a bit with a lot of buttons. So um, I will actually uh, create a third visualization. Let me quickly do that and I will call it page three. Page three will get some content as well. All right. Um, and now what I want to do is I want to create a set of two buttons which go to the previous and to the next page. Okay, so I will just write next here and I will copy and paste this and rename it previous and whoops both uh, have I deleted them no it's control C this one goes away and the same buttons right here ah maybe that was not so clever maybe I should have configured them first um, but let's do this now so key one, key two. So oh, basically we don't have to change anything for this one, but for this one we do because this one should be key one. Okay, and now we can again take them. These ones go away. didn't remember okay let's delete all of them copy why doesn't it paste wow. okay let's try again select and select copy and paste this one worked and once again and it worked again very nice so now we have three identical buttons on three pages and each one only sets the according variable to true for key one and key two. And of course we also want to use our uh, soft keys. And what we want to do is if key one is pressed or we have a falling edge on the soft key First of all, of all, we set back the boolean variable, and now we want to we want to go from page one to page two here, and to page three we want to go all the way around uh, on this button. So let's see. The key one uh, is true, or we have pressed the soft key. So we are in here. If current Visu is uh, on page two, so if we are here and we are pressing this button, we want to go back to page one. So from page two to page one. If we are on page three, 
we want to go back to two. And if we want, if we are on page one, we want to go all the way around to page three. For key two, it's the other way around. So if we're on two, we go to three. On three, we go back the way around to one. And if we're on one, we will go to page two. Let's see if it works. Oh my, we have some arrows. Let's see. The code here looks good. Oh, something has been written in here. Let's delete that. I don't know how this came to be. Maybe it was my crazy copy and pasting. I don't know. Normally shouldn't happen. So let's see. We are we are on page two. So I click on previous, and I'm on page one. Previous page three. Previous page two again, and now I go the other way. Next, I'm on page three. Next again, I'm on page one, and I'm back on page two. So now we have a very flexible way of navigating between basically countless uh, 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 visualizations. You just need to enhance this code. Of course, this will also get quite big if you add more, uh, more and more visualizations. But still, um, you can debug it. You have one overview. You have one place where you see what happens if you press a key or a certain button at any time. Um, you can enhance this whole model and not only use it to change visualizations, but you can basically control every key press, every button press or every um, soft key press at one place. So now we have only configured key one, keys one and two for our back and forth navigation. And maybe the other two soft keys on, on this side um, are used to increment or decrement a certain value. So um, you can do the same things for key two and key uh, key three and key four. You have to add the uh, the soft keys here, of course. Maybe I can show you this just so we have seen it. Um, a pen device, and here you can see the other keys. So we add keys F3 and F4. And now we can use those as well. So, so for keys three and four, depending on uh, on which um, visualization you are, you can I don't know increase uh, uh, this or that variable by a certain amount, or you can do absolutely anything. It depends on what you want to do, but you have complete freedom and you have a great overview of what happens if you press the soft keys or the according buttons um, within your whole project. There are, of course, still more fancy ways, more sophisticated ways to do this, to uh, encapsulate things. And um, this is something that we will cover in a more advanced video. For now, that's it. Have fun creating your navigations and thank you for watching.